using the Laplace transform to solve this system of linear in linear equations. So what you are going to do is to solve this equation and this equation at the same time with these conditions. So when you apply the derivative, the uh, first thing first, apply the, the the derivative term, and you have to apply it for both x and y terms, okay? Because you are doing a system. So apply that theorem. I have s capital x of s minus x of zero equals capital x of s minus two capital y of s. And for the second equation, I have s capital y of s minus y of zero equals phi capital x of s minus capital y of s. Right now, plugging uh, plugging in the conditions, I have. S capital X of S. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put uh, the S uh, to one side and distribute, uh, distribute it out. So put this in, to the left side. So move uh, this to the left side and distribute it out. I have uh, S minus 1 left in parentheses equals this one negative 2Y of S. And then for this one, x of 0 equals negative 1, so positive 1, move to the other side, which is negative 1, right? Down here, you have capital Y of S and capital Y of S, move to one side, and factor it out. I have S plus 1 equals 5 capital X of S, Y of 0 equals 2, so I have positive 2, okay? Now, so for x and y, I have x of s equals negative 2 capital Y of s over s minus 1 minus 1 over s minus 1 capital Y of s equals 5x of s over s plus 1 plus 2 over s plus 1. Okay, so now we have all equations in terms of x and y. Now I'm going to call this as 1 and this is 2. <coughs> The next step is to substitute either one of these into the other and solve for the unknown. So I'm going to substitute. Uh, I'm going to substitute one into two. So I have capital Y of S equals five times negative two is negative ten. Capital Y of S over S plus one times S minus one. Minus five times this is five over s plus one times s minus one plus rewrite this. <coughs> okay, now capital Y of s is on both sides, so I'm going to move it to one side and factor it out. So I left with one plus. 10 over and <clears throat> for this one just rewrite it uh, so why what, what i was about to say is you can rewrite this as a different of square you have you're gonna have s square minus one but i'm gonna leave it like this so equals rewrite this ah. right now multiply both sides by s plus one times s minus one to get rid of this fraction. So I'm gonna I'm going to have s square minus one plus ten. Right? This is uh, this can be written as s square minus one. Okay. Equals negative five plus two times s minus one. Right. Now simplify this, so I have s square plus 9, divide both sides by s square plus 9, I have this. So this is uh, s square plus 9, divide both sides by this, I get this, negative 5 over s square plus 9, plus, distribute this out, 2s over s square plus 9, minus 2 over s square plus 9, okay? Alright. This and this, 
Combine them together, which gives me negative 7 over s squared plus 9 plus 2s over s squared plus 9. Okay? Now, take the inverse on both sides. I have y of t equals. So this, are, this is almost psi and less it has 3 on top. Right? So this will give me psi. But initially, it doesn't have 3. When I multiply 3 on top, I have to multiply 3 on the bottom. You can say. So literally, I multiply by 1 because 3 over 3 is 1. So it ends up being negative 7 over 3 side 3t. Okay? Plus for this one it's going to be cosine of 2 cosine 3t. Okay? So this is your uh, so this is your answer of y of t and we're not done yet we have to solve for x of, uh, x of t because uh, we're doing the system of linear linear equations so this is one equation so we already found y of s which is this so we are going to plug this back in here to solve for x of, y, x of s okay so uh, let me do it down here so number one from number one I have x of s equals so negative 2 over s minus 1 times uh, capital Y of s and capital Y of s is, is equal to this so I'm going to multiply that by this mean minus 1 over s minus 1 Okay, so this is what I have after I plug in uh, y of s, right? Just read this out now. Uh, 14 over s minus 1 squared plus 9 minus 4s over s minus 1 times s squared plus 9 minus 1 over s minus 1. <coughs> Alright, so this is what I have so far and the next step is to rewrite this in smaller fraction uh, into the fractions that, I, that we know they are fraction from, okay? So let me do it on a separate sheet. And the method we are going to use is to use the decomposition method. So I know you have no you have known how to do it, so I'm not gonna explain it. Okay, so just go over it really quick. So this is uh, our values for A, B, C. So this now becomes A over S minus 1, which is 7 over 5. S minus 1 plus B over B, S, which is negative 7 over 5, S over S square plus 9 plus C, negative 7 over 5, S square plus 9. Okay? Now for this one, so this is similar to this one unless we have a different in the number in the numerator. <coughs> so instead of doing this, so it can be it's, this can also be obtained from the summation of this and this, unless we have a different fraction on the left side. So to set time, I just uh, do this, replace this with four s, okay, negative four s. So let s approach one and a half negative 4s equals over here I still also have 10a then a equals negative oh actually negative 4 then I have negative 2 fifth we're gonna do the same thing now unless the number is the number is all different take a look at the leading coefficient of s where 0 equals a plus b then b equals 2 fifths, s is 0, 
zero. Nine A minus C. Then C equals negative eighteen over five. All right, plug them, plug these back in here. So we have A over S minus one plus B. B is it? This plus C. C is negative eighteen over five squared plus nine. Okay, and rewrite this. <clears throat> okay, now let's take a look at the light terms. So this s minus one, s minus one, s minus one, seven over five minus two over five is uh, five over five, which is one. One minus one is gone, so this cancel out. We're left with this. Okay. So this one s over s y plus nine, s over s y plus nine. So combine this together, I have seven negative seven over. I'm gonna do it down here. Uh, negative five, <coughs> negative seven uh, plus two, negative five, negative s over s squared plus nine. Okay, then combine this. This together gives me negative seven minus eighteen, negative twenty five, negative five. Okay, so when you apply the inverse for this one, you are going to get x of t equals negative, for this one, negative cosine 3t, okay? For this one, oh, minus, you have negative. So, you need to have the 3 on top, and I will explain up uh, a bow here, so side curve. So I have negative five third side three t. Okay, so this is your equation of x of t, and up here you have equation of y of t. So that is your final solutions. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.